Institutions need to look very closely at the balance they strike between organisational short and long-term focus, as this significantly drives the way we behave and the type of decisions that we make. An emphasis on short-term objectives generates pressure, which we know from research into optimal performance is essential for stimulating higher skill level delivery, awareness and quality decision making. But when pressure intensifies so much, we tend to go into a kind of cognitive overload, which affects our ethical abilities in three main ways. As pressure increases, we tend to start shedding behaviours that are strictly not necessary for us in order to get the job done, such as social graces, social norms and even civil behaviour, which are all fundamental, obviously, to high-performing cultures. Secondly, we tend to start stripping out some of the complexity of our goals, leaving just those core elements that still allow us to say that we've actually achieved it, but which require less time and effort to do so. And thirdly, as pressure mounts, what we call our ethical threshold starts to come under attack. Our ethical resilience is tested and we begin to become increasingly more likely to choose unethical behaviour and strategies in order to win or achieve our objectives. And so in very high pressure, short-termism environments, we tend to behave less civilly and ethically towards each other. We tend to achieve less dynamic and complex goals where expectations are increasingly not met. And we tend to become increasingly less ethical in our strategy as pressure mounts and causes us to choose less ethical solutions to our problems and challenges. And so although high pressure short-termism is not the only cause of reduced ethical conduct within an organisation, it is certainly a major part of the mix and definitely increases the encouragement of low value or unethical behaviour.